All right, so this is the latest revision. It's got polycarbonate internals, piston, crankshaft, and conrod. This is the old conrod and uh, one of the crankshafts. I think this one's carbon fiber. I right, sheared it. So, yep, everything's polycarbonate now. The uh, cylinder is still carbon fiber, but it will be polycarbonate soon just because of uh, how lightweight you can get it with using such little infill, and it, it files way better down to, it's way, way smoother. So I think that'll be good. And yeah, I think you've seen the exhaust in the last video, but that's working great. And this thing just hit 5,300 RPMs right after break-in. So we're going to go ahead and do a dyno run and see what kind of power it's making. Uh, the last one made around 5 watts. So we'll see what we can get. Initiate the power run. It's going to kick on at 1,100 RPM. All right, let's get it. Jesus. Okay, so now it's gonna plot it out. Holy shit, okay. Uh, let's go to analysis. And yeah, we're running, it's only five ounces per inch, that's strange. It looked like it was gonna be a lot more. Oh, but we're at 0 0.01 horsepower now. Whereas before I was zero point, I think zero point zero seven was the highest we ever got. Uh, Fifty seven hundred RPM is definitely the highest that's ever been. The max I ever got it before was around fifty one hundred, and it exploded at fi at five thousand before as well. So uh, that's great. And what's interesting is it took four point four seconds to get to fifty seven hundred RPM, which is about how long it normally takes to get to uh, like four thousand. So that lightweight piston is definitely improving that and but yeah the torque interesting that this is only five it looked like it was going to be a lot higher but yeah this is the uh this is the setup awesome all right well stay tuned next thing we're going to be doing is testing out these custom diaphragms these are printed tpu uh, ninja flex and with the, the middle of it is actually um 90a uh sane smart so you got the ninja flex at 85a Short, short hardness and then you got uh, slightly th harder in the middle and what I did is I did almost look, almost look like an orange slice to uh, inc basically make reinforced diaphragms and I was testing this is not a reinforced diaphragm this is just the Ninja Flex and it definitely expanded that's not that's good because you want expansion but you want it to also come back to normal so I tried this one which is half the thickness of that one and this is as much as it deformed at 100 psi which is kind of nuts. This one deformed this bad at around 60 PSI and it's twice as thick. So this one's half the thickness, same PSI, that's all it deformed to, which this is an acceptable amount of deformation because the piston's going to push this back up as it comes up into the stroke and then it's going to be able to fill that up. So that's a pretty big stroke. That's much bigger than I've had before with the rubber diaphragms and these are the rubber diaphragms which as you can see they wear uh, pretty good. I got the wear down. See how they got the lines in there? That's because the old design, the one from Tom Stanton, actually has these grooves in the piston to let the air through. But on the new piston design, which I don't have out here, it actually has those holes cut off and then the exhaust is moved to just bo just before bottom dead center so that it can actually use the air from the diaphragm as kind of an extra supercharge effect. To, uh, and it does work. It actually gave me a little bit more top end. So all of this is in the works. Should be having a polycarbonate cylinder soon with <laughs> printed diaphragms. And uh, we should be good to go. But, oh, the other thing. In this video, I almost forgot to mention, this new valve is 8 millimeters instead of 6. This is a 6 millimeter. That one's 8 millimeter. It uses an 8 millimeter steel ball. I got the, I got the uh, palm balls on the way, the POM balls for uh, that size is a six millimeter POM ball. So I got more air going into it as well. I'm not sure if that's actually getting used or not. I haven't looked at the pressure impulse for this engine yet, but yep, all in the works. It's going good and stay tuned in the next video.